Bonjour les étudiants of class 9. Hope you're doing good. So today's session will be about the exercises. We'll be continuing the exercises of lesson 4. Uh, we'll be doing some three exercises. So one will be with ESC and the other two will be with uh, the verb will war, aller and uh, aimer. Okay, so there are uh, three simple exercises and uh, we'll finish those exercises. Please copy it in your notebook. Okay, neatly, correctly and uh, let's get into the slides. And here, the eighth exercise. Transformer les questions en utilisant est-ce que. Okay, transformer les questions en utilisant est-ce que. So you got to change the questions uh, by using est-ce que. Okay, so you know the meaning of est-ce que, I guess. Okay, so is it that? Okay, which means do, is, or whether, even. So when you have a question with est-ce que, okay, so normally the answer will be with yes or no. Okay, the yes or no. Uh, so there are three forms okay there are three types of uh, framing a question uh, so one is actually intonation okay so the questions here uh, are an intonation form okay so the second type it says ke. the third type it's inversion okay you'll be inversing the subject and the verb okay so for example uh, the first sentence vous mangez du poisson okay vous mangez du poisson it is actually an intonation form vous mangez du poisson okay you eat fish okay you eat fish so now you got to change it to esque with esque so it's really simple you just add esque before vous esque vous mangez du poisson okay esque vous mangez du poisson okay do you eat fish okay do you eat fish uh, is it that you eat fish or do you eat fish and uh, you just got right est que vous mangez du poisson that's the answer for this exercise and even the third form as i told you it's inversion uh mangez vous du poisson okay we'll be inversing the subject and the verb mangez vous du poisson okay if, uh, in this exercise no need to write that okay you just write est que vous mangez du poisson so the second one où elle habite où elle habite so where is she residing where is she living okay où elle habite so we got où here and the esque will be placed after u. U escal abit. Okay. U escal abit. So, where does she live? Okay. Even in English, we got where does she live? Okay. We'll be using does. Okay. It's not the verb actually. Okay. It's a questioning form. U escal abit. And don't forget to cut that q u, uh, the last e uh, in esque. Because the following word, it's al, starts with a vowel. Okay. U es cal. Q u apostrophe e l l e. U es cal abit. So the third one. Tu peux chanter. You can sing. Okay. You can sing. So you just try, uh, got to add es que before tu. Same way like the first sentence. Es que tu peux chanter. Okay. Is it that you can sing? Okay. Es que tu peux chanter. So the last before one, Alva à Paris. She is going to Paris. So same way like the previous sentence, we'll be placing es que before al es qu'Alva à Paris. But don't forget, same way like the second sentence, we'll be cutting e from q u e, and then we'll be adding an apostrophe. Es qu'Alva à Paris. Oui, est qu'elle va à Paris? Is she going to Paris? Is it that she going to Paris? Okay, vous venez chez nous? The last one, vous venez chez nous? You're coming to our house? Okay, chez, it's actually a preposition uh, to say someone's house, uh, the place of someone, at uh, the house of someone. Okay, so here, vous venez chez nous? You're coming uh, to our house? So we'll be placing est que before vous. Est que vous venez chez nous? Est que vous venez chez nous? So we'll see the answers. It's one quite uh, easy exercise, right? Okay, so here it is. So just careful with the uh, second and the fourth sentence. Okay, it will be like Q U apostrophe E L L E. And in the fourth sentence, the E is not so visible. I just highlighted with a black color, but uh, it's not visible. 
pardon. Voilà. Est-ce que vous mangez du poisson Où est-ce qu'elle habite Est-ce que tu peux chanter Ok, even the T, it's not visible in the third sentence. Est-ce qu'elle va à Paris Est-ce que vous venez chez nous <coughs> So, voilà. So, now we'll go to the next exercise, the ninth exercise. Even this is one simple exercise, you just got to uh, choose the right answer. Okay, you got to choose between the verb vulvar and pouvoir. Uh, so the one which is more appropriate for the sentence. Choisissez la bonne réponse. So the first sentence, elle déteste le poisson. Elle déteste le poisson. Elle ne dash pas prendre de poisson. So she hates fish. Okay. Uh, she doesn't dash to take fish. Okay, so we, we can't say like, elle ne peut pas prendre des poissons. She can't take a fish. Okay, she doesn't want fish. Okay, she doesn't want to take fish. Okay, so the verb vouloir will be the most uh, correct one. Elle déteste le poisson. Elle ne veut pas prendre de poisson. She doesn't want to take fish. So the second one. Nous dash comprendre l'espagnol. So we, uh, we can understand Spanish or we want to understand Spanish. Okay, so both seems a bit correct. Okay, but uh, we can understand Spanish will be the perfect one. Okay, we can understand Spanish. Okay, so because if you say we want to understand Spanish, it's actually we want to learn Spanish. Okay, so we don't just say comprendre. We can say, nous voulons apprendre l'espagnol. Okay, so here, pouvons is the right one. Nous pouvons comprendre l'espagnol. Who can understand Spanish? We can understand Spanish. Okay, so in a crowd, for example. Nous pouvons comprendre l'espagnol. So the third one, tu aimes le chocolat? Okay, tu aimes le chocolat. So you like chocolate. Tu dash un chocolat maintenant. Okay, so normally it's a question. Uh, tu veux un chocolat maintenant? Okay, because with the verb pouvoir, uh, you can't continue with the uh, noun normally. Okay, you can a chocolate now. You can't say you can a chocolate now. Okay, so you want a chocolate now? That's fine. Okay, with the verb vouloir, after the verb vouloir, that can be a noun or a verb. Okay, with the verb pouvoir, okay, that can be only a verb. Okay, a noun, it's a bit impossible. So for the third one, it's tu veux un chocolat maintenant? You want a chocolate now? So the fourth one, vous dash habiter une grande maison. Okay, you dash uh, to live in a big house. You can live in a big house or you want to live in a big house. So both seems to be correct. Okay, so uh, vous voulez habiter une grande maison. Okay, vous voulez habiter une grande maison. You want to live in a big house. So even if you write pouvez, it's not a, it's not a mistake. Okay, both are grammatically, logically, both are correct. So the last one, ils n'ont pas de travail. They don't have work. They don't have any job. Ils dash trouver un travail. Okay, so ils dash trouver un travail. So they can find a job or they want to find a job. Okay, they don't have a job. Okay, they want to find a job. Okay, they can find a job. Okay, both are fine. Okay, but you can use will. Okay, the verb will war. Il will trouve un travail. They want to find a job because they don't have a job. Okay, they want to find a job. So now we'll go for the answers. Okay, so here. Uh, elle déteste le poisson. Elle ne veut pas prendre de poisson. Nous pouvons comprendre l'espagnol. Tu aimes le chocolat? Tu veux un chocolat maintenant? Vous voulez habiter une grande maison? Ils n'ont pas de travail. Ils veulent trouver un travail. 
is it fine so, okay so we'll move to the next exercise okay so even the 10th exercise it's uh, one simple exercise uh, we're gonna do the same okay we are going to add some verbs okay transformer les phrases suivantes en utilisant les verbes aller vouloir ou aimer okay you got to transform the sentences using aller vouloir or aimer okay so voilà. aller which means to go vouloir want aimer to like okay so nous allons au restaurant okay so you can't change the verb exactly okay but uh, you can add a verb before that okay we already got the verb aller conjugated in the first sentence so we'll be adding a verb before the verb aller okay and so if you add one verb before the verb aller so the verb aller turns to infinitive right allons will be changed to aller l l e r so for example nous voulons aller au restaurant okay we want to go to the restaurant nous voulons aller au restaurant okay so you can even say nous aimons aller au restaurant we like to go to the restaurant okay even like nous allons aller au restaurant we are going to go to the restaurant okay so you can conjugate any one verb okay uh, south of aller vouloir aimer you can conjugate any one verb before uh, the verb aller okay so the second one je connais sa décision okay je connais sa décision i know her decision or i know his decision okay so now you got to uh, find the infinitive form Conne, it's actually connaître okay so je vais connaître sa décision i'm going to know his decision okay je veux connaître sa décision i want to know his decision j'aime connaître sa décision i like to know his decision so same way all three are possible so you can write any one verb before the verb connaître you can conjugate any one verb so the third one il écoute les chansons de michael jackson il écoute les chansons de michael jackson so he listens to the songs of michael jackson okay so il va écouter les chansons de michael jackson if you're conjugating with aller il va écouter it's an er ending verb écouter il va écouter he is going to listen to some michael jackson songs okay il veut écouter les chansons de michael jackson he wants to listen to some michael jackson songs il aime écouter les chansons de michael jackson he likes to listen to some michael jackson songs okay so same way you can write uh, you can conjugate any one verb and then you add the infinitive of écouté so uh, do not repeat the same verb okay do not repeat the same verb uh, allez vous voir aimer just try to uh, shuffle uh, the fourth sentence mon père commande de la glace pour nous okay so here uh, logically some verbs can be accepted mon père va commander de la glace pour nous so my dad is going to order some ice cream for us commander it's an er ending verb okay mon père va commander my dad is going to order some ice cream for us mon père va commander de la glace pour nous okay so my dad uh, wants to order some ice cream for us okay uh, so these two are more logical okay so the verb aller and will work uh, in front of commander mon père aime commander de la glace pour nous it's fine but uh, not that okay so it's better you use with aller or will work okay so voilà so the last one vous finissez le travail finissez it's actually the verb finir okay finir i are ending uh, vous allez finir le travail you're going to finish the work vous voulez finir le travail you want to finish the work vous aimez finir le travail you like to finish the work so any one verb is possible okay so that's it okay so we'll see the answers okay so i just uh, wrote something random okay uh, if you have changed if you have written any other verbs okay that's fine nous aimons aller au restaurant je veux connaître sa décision il va écouter les chansons de michael jackson mon père va commander de la glace pour nous uh, vous aimez finir le travail oui so that's it for today guys okay we'll meet in teams okay so please take notes and uh, keep your class works properly oui ciao